Hey guys, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House, and today's video is going to be all about stain. I'm going to be trying some different combinations and show you guys some of my work and tell you exactly which stain combinations I used on those particular pieces. So if you've been following me and you like the, the style of furniture that I do and want to recreate it, this is the video to watch. I have a combination of stains here, and I also have a whitewash stain that I'm going to be using on half the piece so that you can see what those five stains look like on top of the whitewash and then just on the plain pine uh, furniture that I have here. I've only stripped, well sanded, the drawers and the top so the rest that you see around there is um, just like an orange color which is just the color the natural yellowing that happens to pine after it's been clear coated for some time. I'm going to be applying the whitewash in the direction of the grain on half of the drawer fronts and that's where we'll be doing our test combinations of stain so that you can see what it looks like with the whitewash as a base and you can see what it looks like without the whitewash. I find that when we're finishing furniture the whitewash has really saved my life because I wasn't able to create the lighter tones because I'm generally working with like cheaper woods and stuff. So, you know, it really helps to have that whitewash, I feel. But it's not always best. See, and you'll see that when I apply these different stains. Some stains just look better without it. So, here I am applying the Briar Smoke. This is probably my most used stain. It is a gel stain, which is a little bit different than um, a typical stain. And honestly, your coloring is going to be pretty much um, the same. There's just going to be a little bit more um, coverage with the gel stain because it has like a bit of a paint component to it. The Weathered Oak by Minwax doesn't really do much. Um, you know, this I think is where a lot of people will be like searching Pinterest and seeing these floor samples that have been stained and they're like, oh, that looks great. But it doesn't really work on wood furniture that has other colors in it and that has aged and stuff. So that's where I started using gel stain a lot more. And here I am applying aged oak. I think this was my favorite in this um, showdown here of stains. I really like the um, just the cool tones of it and it doesn't bring out any red in the wood. Jacobine is one that I use a ton. Jacobine is a regular stain, the one that I have. Um, it's not a gel stain in this comparison and as you can see it you know lets the wood grain come through a little bit more than the gel stains do. Here is Weathered Gray by Barathane. As far as applying stain goes, most people will use a chip brush to apply it and then a lint-free cloth to remove any excess. And you'll need to allow it to dry for, I think it's like 36 hours. Alright, so here is the 10 combinations. Here are the 10 combinations that I came up with for today's little um, experiment. And let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I think that aged oak with the whitewash and without the whitewash were both my favorite. But briar smoke was a close second. So I just wanted to give you guys just a compilation of me applying. <laughs> I went through all my videos and tried to find as many videos about stain that I could find of me applying it or pictures of, pro of projects that I finished with stain and tell you what I did. So that first one that you were looking at, that was me applying Jacobine on um, pine. This dresser is a combination of three stains and I actually have a YouTube video on it. Um, this one is just a simple whitewash on the top, nothing else. Turned out pretty good. 
This next one, um, this video I have on YouTube of this whole process. This is a whitewash and then briar smoke on top. I think to date this is my most popular YouTube video, so you might want to check this one out. Seem to be a lot of people liking that one. And with that warm gray and brown undertones, you know, you can't go wrong. This is a stain finish that I do, and I also have a YouTube video on it. It's the um, Ikea stain finish. Um, I think it's called How to Make Anything Look Like Wood. And basically, I this is kind of a paint job more than a stain, but I use stains to create it. Gel stains in particular. And Briar Smoke is the main color there. This one was... I think, okay, so this was before I figured out that using whitewash first and then the stain worked a lot better than applying the stain and then the whitewash, although this worked out okay too. This was um, briar smoke on the base and then I did the Minwax whitewash on top and um, it, it turned out great. I mean, and it actually had a little bit more of that ceruzing effect, which is very French looking and... Um, I, I like how it gets into the details and stuff. So applying the stain and then the whitewash is also a, a cool combination to do. This is just a bleached wood dresser. I have a video on that as well. This is Jacobine again on pine. This is that um, Ikea dresser I was telling you guys about. And then again, the bleached wood. <laughs> These are going fast. <laughs> um, Jacobine. This is a gray white um, gray whitewash that weathered gray, and then that's just plain pine. Jacobine again. Jacobine. Um, this is Queenstown gray. This one was a dark gray that I think we just brushed on there, like a dry brushing. Oh, that was the before of the bleached wood dresser. Again, go check out that bleached wood dresser video because um, if you're having trouble with orange tones coming through in your wood, you might want to try um, bleaching it. Jacobine. Jacobine. I think that one is um, the weathered gray. Anyway, <laughs> this is a bit of a hodgepodge of a video, but I hope you gained something from watching it and um, seeing some of the projects that I've completed using stain. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I would love to answer them. You can follow me on Instagram. And I have even have people reach out on Instagram sometimes sending me pictures of projects that they're working on and asking for advice. And I love helping. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.